everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this cute fun fold card. It uses the It's a Science stamp set and the Something Eclectic Designer Series paper. I love the little microscope. I have a science lover in my house. She hopes to be an astrobiologist someday, so I knew that this would be perfect for her. Um, I also pulled in these little dies right here and I'll tell you where they're from as well when we get there. Okay, now this card has some very specific measurements and I'm gonna have a PDF with those typed up on them for you. So make sure you hop back over to my blog and grab those. The first thing that you're gonna need to do is cut yourself a piece of basic black that is five and a half by 11. And we're gonna score it at three and six and three fourths. All right, now I'm gonna take my pencil and I am gonna cut it so it's gonna fold like this. So I'm gonna cut it from here over here and I'm gonna mark this at three inches. That's where I'm gonna cut two with my trimmer. All right, so let's get the trimmer. And I'm gonna take that right there, that little tick mark, and I'm gonna put that in the gutter and I'm gonna rotate my paper so that down here, I don't know if you guys can see down here, this end is in the gutter as well. And we're gonna cut a diagonal line from there to there. All right, and that's what your paper looks like. All right, so let's do this first piece on the inside. And I've got a piece of the designer series paper that is four by four, four by five and a fourth. And I need it to go here. So I'm gonna cut it from here to one inch down. So I need to measure and put a little tick mark right there where there's a one inch mark. And then I'm gonna turn my paper, get this in the gutter and that right there and cut. All right, so we're gonna put that right there. Then I've got a piece of basic white. That's our next piece right here. And it is four and a fourth by, let me look at my notes so I tell you the right thing. Four and a fourth by three and a half. And we're gonna cut it to the seven eighths inch mark. All right, so again, I am going to make a mark right there at the seven eighths inch and cut it, okay? And that one's gonna go right there in the middle. Now we need another one for right here, the same size, uh, four and a fourth by three and a half. Except this time, we've been cutting things from this corner to this corner. Well, now we need to do it from this corner to this corner. So I'm gonna make a mark at the seven eighths inch point, and we're gonna cut it. Let's turn it like this. Gutter, tick mark in the gutter, corner in the gutter and slice and then that's going to go right there and then we've got another piece that's going to go right here on the front and that one is three and three eighths by two and three fourths we're going to cut from here to five eighths of an inch now let's see five eighths is just one tick mark past the half inch okay like that and there we have it. Okay, so you can see there's some precise measuring. You're gonna need your ruler or trimmer plus a pencil. Now let's put all of these pieces in. Again, this is the Something Eclectic Designer Series paper. Put that right there. And we're gonna put our white piece right here. And our second black and white piece on the front right here. And then we'll flip it around and put that last piece right here in the middle like that. All right, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so now that that's done, let's make our cute decorations. 
I have a piece of watercolor paper that I have cut out with one of our stylish shape circles. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of water and a little bit of smoky slate, and I'm just gonna kind of give myself just a, a smush of watercolor in the background, okay? Now, one thing I really like to do on my watercolor pieces, and I thought it would be good since this is kind of a sciencey um, piece, is to put some some uh, big salt chunks on there. It's going to give us kind of a really cool pattern. All right, so I'm going to set that aside and give it some time to dry. And in the meantime, we are going to stamp our microscope, and we're going to color this with stamp and blends and i just kept it simple i am just using my smoky slate and i'm going to start with my light and i'm just going to color most of everything in with a light and then i'm going to come back with my dark and add in some um some just variants some shadows and make things a little bit darker all right so just go around and color it. Right now I'm just gonna take my dark and I'm gonna do some of these pieces like this. And add a little bit of dark. Wherever you see those tick marks, you can add a little bit of shadow. And then go back with your light and color that in. Kind of just blending all that dark out so that it's not such a harsh line. There we go. Okay, now you're gonna need your paper snips and my paper snips are right here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut off all that excess cardstock. And we'll just go around. Stay right on the outside edge of that black line and use your opposite hands to turn. Now you can leave this white part if you want, but I'm gonna come back and cut it out. Depends on how confident you feel with your snips. They really are great for this kind of cutting. And the last one, if I can get it out, there we go. All right, now we're gonna do some embossing. And I've got my piece of basic black. I'm gonna rub it with my embossing buddy to release any static cling that is there. And we're gonna use Versamark and I'm gonna stamp right there. And then I'm gonna take silver. I don't use silver very often, but boy, is it beautiful. All right, let's see if we can get this back over. I need just a piece of scrap paper. There we go. I need my tray, I don't have it with me. And if you use your reverse tweezers to hold it, you won't burn your fingers.
Okay. Now grab your trimmer again, and we're just gonna cut this out. And just, we just wanna cut the words apart, really. So I'm gonna do most of it here with my trimmer and then take my scissors and cut the rest apart. I like this little saying, let's sell a great. My daughter will think that's pretty funny. All right, so then you're just gonna cut these apart like this. And I'm gonna snip these off so that they're not longer than the words. There we go. Okay, let's look to see how we are. We're dry and we can brush these little pieces of salt off. And then I'm gonna grab my smoky slate and I'm gonna stamp this fun little sciency symbol on there like that. I'm gonna take my dark smoky slate and just kind of flick some splotches on there. And then we'll grab our microscope and let's put this on here with some dimensionals like that. And then we'll get the let's celebrate and we're gonna use many dimensionals for this. Celebrate, that's gonna be the bottom. You know, I should be using my black dimensionals on here. This is perfect for black dimensionals. And pull that off and we'll put this, whoops. Let's sell a break. Okay, now last but not least, let's get our ribbon. This is our uh, pebbled path ribbon and I'm gonna use the piece that I had left over from last time. I cut it down the middle as you can see, so that it's a little bit thinner. And we'll tie a bow. And let's make those ends even. Grab a mini glue dot and put that right there. Okay, now we've got a few other things that I added in. This is the these are the two pieces from the chic dies, this one right here. And I didn't take care of all those little doodads in the middle just because they're gonna mostly be covered up. So I'm gonna just lay down some adhesive like this, kind of put it kind of wonky like that. Take some dimensionals, stick them right on the top, which will also help hold it in place. And we'll put this right in the center. Now I've also cut out a couple of these and they looked kind of like germs to me. It's from Silver Foil, same chic dies. And we'll put one up here and one maybe, well, let's see, let's put that one there and see where the other one should go. Put that one like that. And let's put the other one out here like this, maybe coming from behind like that. <laughs> there you go. Okay, now one last thing, I do believe I stamped some of these on the inside. So we'll do one, two, and then three, and then We'll grab the It's Your Birthday, You Can Overreact right there. And there you have it, a kind of over the top fun fold 
for any science nerd in your family or someone you know. I have several science nerds in my family and they will love this card. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, grab that free PDF, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody, happy stamping, bye-bye.